Hi, we're here from AmericanElgin.com to talk about a very exciting and important line of watches, the uh, 27 and 30 Jewel uh, automatic watches made by Elgin National Watch Company out of Elgin, Illinois. These were made for a very limited time between 1959 and 1963, sort of in the, the waning days of American watchmaking, um, which pretty much died out in the 1960s. And these were made for only four years, and they had a introduced some very important technological innovations. These were the first uh, full rotor automatic watches ever designed and made in the U.S. Full rotor meaning that there's a, a weight or pendulum that spins 360 degrees around a, a central pivot point that winds the watch while you walk. So you do not need to wind the watch using the crown on the, on the right side of the, the watch. Um, so the first watch we're going to talk about is this. This is part of that line. It was called the Thin Thin or Thin Line because the, the, these were thinner than other automatic watches. And this is the Model A, so this is a very classic 1950s design, um, although it was introduced in 1959. Um, this is one of about six different dial variations of this watch. And as you can see, now we're looking at the back of the, of the case. The, the case was made by Star Watch Case Company out of Michigan, and it's a very nice all stainless steel case. This was the introductory model uh, to this 27 jewel lineup, the, the least expensive. Now the next watch we're going to be taking a look at is another uh, stainless steel watch, which is, which is significantly more expensive. It was in a different case. And this is the C model. And there are also several variations of, of the dial on these. And, and it is a different case than the A model, but it was quite a bit more expensive. But the, um, but these are very interesting designs. This is a very uh, very early 1960s uh, look with this with the 12, 3, 6, 9 digits, the funky numbers, and um, in addition to that, the um, uh, the linen dial. And you compare the two; they're you know they're they're similar in size, but also quite different in terms of the aesthetics and overall appearance, and even even the shape of the case. The third watch we'll be looking at is this is the D model letter letter D, and this is a, this has a 10, 10 carat rolled gold plate case, again a very classic design, kind of like the first one, the A model we looked at, and Elgin actually made models using letters A through S, although they they seem to have skipped some of the letters. So this is the letter D model. Um, if you go on AmericanElgin.com, you can see information on on all the models that we know about. Um, here we're just going to be discussing ten in this video. So this is a very um, very classic design. It's also quite scarce, even though it appeared a lot in the advertising. It doesn't really appear very much, very much in real life. Um, you know, it's a very, uh, very attractive, uh, very classic design. With uh, the case back has a similar, similar uh, shape, somewhat to the other, uh, uh, the first watch we saw. Um, but again, this is uh, has a, a kind of a, a thick gold shell uh, attached to it. It's not not just like a thin gold plating. Now. Speaking of gold, now we will take a look at the the E letter E model, the thin line twenty seven jewel E. Uh, this is this is the most arguably the most impressive and certainly the most expensive of the twenty seven jewel Lord Elgins. This came in a solid ten karat gold case uh, at one hundred twenty five dollars. It was the most expensive watch in the lineup. Now that may not seem like a lot of money one hundred twenty five dollars for a solid gold watch, uh, but you have to remember that in nineteen sixty the minimum minimum wage in the United States was one dollar an hour. And a lot of people, the average employee in the United States, the average worker made about $50 an hour, uh, sorry, $50 a week. So this this would have taken quite a lot of money for the average person to buy. You can see it's a very substantial solid gold case. Uh, the case is made by uh, John L. Watch Case Company with, you see the little arrow there, uh, out of New York, solid 10 karat gold. Um, and gold was less expensive back then too. It was, it was fixed to, to the price of the dollar at uh, 35 the US dollars to one ounce, which is why it didn't cost quite as much uh, back then on watches. Now the watch we're looking at, the next one, this is, this is uh, some collectors call this the G model, although it's actually, uh, it's actually not, uh, as, as far as we can tell, it's not part of the, the G line. It just is part of uh, the uh, kind of a, a broader set of watches called the Horizon Look. Uh, and and it, you see, I'm looking at another watch here. The, the D model, you see, it has the, the gold ring around the top of the watch, which holds a crystal in place. Um, this, the Horizon uh, look watches have the crystal goes all the way end to end. So there's there is no 
bezel holding the, holding the crystal in place is a very interesting innovation. And there were Elgin and made some watches across uh, different areas that had this kind of uh, uh, technology. Um, and there were, and there was a 27 and a 30 joule version of this. Now the last watch uh, we're, we're going to talk about before we we um, get a, get into a couple other areas is uh, this very interesting square uh, uh, case watch. This is the only uh, uh, watch with a square rectangular case in the, in either the 27 or 30 joule lineup, and it is therefore the only the one and only example of a uh, full rotor automatic watch designed and made in the U.S. in a square case. So that's kind of interesting, interesting fact. And it, this is uh, quite scarce. It was quite a, quite expensive. It, it's quite large also compared to other vintage sort of tank watches from that time period. Um, it's case number 4445. Um, and uh, it's got, again, a very, very classic 1960s um, kind of design. And on, on, on the back of it, uh, you'll, you'll see when you turn it over in a second, you'll see that the... Uh, the watch has a the watch has a stainless steel back. It's also made by Star Watch Case Company. Now here's another another really really beautiful example, which is the the 27 jewel Elgin L L model L as in Elgin, uh, and this is a very kind of interesting kind of target or bull, maybe not quite bullseye design, but target design. Uh, really elegant with these sort of like horn shaped lugs at the top. Uh, really, one, really one of my, also one of my favorite favorites in this series, and this of course has an inscription from somebody to somebody else, a gift. Let's see what who is it to? It says uh, to Gary Love Lydia. Well, Lydia must have been a great wife or girlfriend to give her husband or boyfriend such a cool watch back around 1960, and we get to enjoy this today. Now the next the next watch we're going to show you is another stainless steel one. And this is the, again is a very special 27 jewel Elgin, and it has a what Elgin called the uh, a charcoal dial. So this is kind of a kind of a luminous kind of floating grayish titanium color with stainless steel, and it has actually has um, the markers on this are appear to be slightly golden, the hour markers, which is very rare. Um, this has quite a thick stainless steel case. Um, very nice, very attractive watch, very, very substantial in, in size. These are quite rare with the, the dial well preserved. For some reason, this technology of making this color it doesn't seem to have been very easy, and a lot of them have the dial flaking off, but this one's in really gorgeous condition and quite rare. Um, the next watch I'm that we'll show you is, this is the O model, uh, which is, a, again, is a very, uh, very attractive, kind of very 1960s design with this, the number 12. Um, sort of a, not quite space age, but you can t kind of get the early 60s vibe from this quite a lot. And interestingly, this shares a case number, case 9817, which is used on the Lord Elgin series, the 30 jewel watches as well, which is unusual. They didn't do that very often, but there are a couple watches that have the, the same case number used for both. Now, finally, the last one I'm going to show you is of these 27 jewel Elgins is this beauty with these, the fancy lugs. And I, I'm not sure exactly how to describe the top lug. I want to say it's like a bow tie, but it's it's some kind of a fancy lug. It's a very interesting shape, and it's it's quite a large watch. And this is the this is the R model, um, and this is actually very rare. There there is a version of this for Lord Lord Elgin, which has the same again has the same case actually, um, but this this particular type does not even appear to be in any of the advertising Elgin did. Um, it's an interesting design. Um, Personally, I think it, it does look a bit dated from my standpoint, but it's, it is very interesting. So this is, uh, these are just 10, 10 of the examples of all the 27 Jewel Elgin watches. And um, if you'd like to see more information about all of them, please check them out at AmericanElgin.com.